G'day gardeners, today we're going to be planting some snow peas. So snow peas are very easy to snow peas are very easy to plant. As you can see there, they're just very small. This is some I saved from uh, last time I grew some. And uh, we're just going to plant those out today. However, first of all, what you really need is some trellis. So I've got some trellis that I've made myself and we're going to see how that goes. So you want the trellis well, fairly wide apart because the snow peas do. I don't want it, is it? <laughs> this is a video of not what to do. Anyway, you tie the trellis one later. So these are old leftover, uh, leftover structure from a, uh, a a tent or something we had in the backyard. So I kept the poles, and uh, they're quite good for this sort of thing. Um, so we'll put those together. So I'm going to use uh, zip ties, which I know aren't the most environmentally friendly thing, but we're going to use a couple of them, which is good. So there's a convenient little hole through the top here. And so I can get it in there. And we just zip it up. There's all sorts of wildlife here today. Alright, so that's so it doesn't come apart in the wind. These are pushed down as far as they can be. And we'll zip up a few of these side supports. So it'll be pretty interesting to see how this all pans out. So this is so that the um, tendrils of the peas can find something to grip onto. Because otherwise, the snow peas just basically come off and they're no good to anybody, they just don't grow up. So I'll put the next one up. So they do grow pretty tall, they actually grow about this tall, so you really do have to take that into consideration when you make your trellis, whatever you're going to make it out of, that uh, the snow peas are going to grow pretty bloody tall and you'll need to do that. Lucky last. Just put one through the top so they just hold up the top. Alright, they're not going anywhere. And the peas will grow up those nicely. So now I can actually move it properly. Find a proper spot for them to go. Let's make sure I avoid the irrigation pipe. And I'll give those a good push into the soil. Right anyway, let's have a look, let's see how straight that looks. Oh yeah, that'll do. So pretty easy to plant the peas. So the soil's nice and moist already. So just try to dig a little, little trench there. Probably no deeper than twice the size of the pea itself. Now you want quite a few, it doesn't matter. They don't need to be too spaced apart. As you can see, they're not very deep in the ground. So probably about an inch, two and a half centimetres, maybe a little bit more. And plant those, they will grow along. I've got some, some escaped ones. Or would they be bananas? Escape peas. 
Right, so enough humour for today. So that's about as easy as it gets. And you simply cover them over, get rid of the old zip ties. So you just cover those over. Not with mulch, but with some soil. Any soil there. And we give it a good pat down. And that's it. We'll just have to water those in. We'll do the same for the other side in a second. So once again, all it is is a simple little trench. Not very deep. As you can see, I've got my irrigation pipe there. Really simple stuff. And pop your peas in where you want them. As you can see, this soil is full of organic matter, which is perfect for these peas. Now we just backfill. And give a good pat down. There we go. So pretty easy to water in. Just got my trusty watering can here. And we're just going to water those peas because they start to germinate once they come into contact with water. So pretty simple stuff. Nobody said gardening was hard. That's for sure. Now what I can do, because I know that the peas are going to grow fairly well, I can put another trench just here on the other side. Same on this side, here. Where did I put them? So I'll pop a few more in just in case. We get some germination failure, but hopefully it all should be good. keep it safe. They'll last for about five or so years. There we go, snow peas. <laughs> um, and uh, they should be fine. You just keep collecting them over and over to dry out the last lot. Sew them again. Nice and simple, easy to plant snow peas. Why don't you give it a go yourself? Anyway, we'll see their progress as we follow the progress of the garden over the next week or so. Week. <laughs> next uh, few months or so. Anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and you can check out some of the other videos that I've made, Heirloom Tomatoes and When I Appeared on the 7pm Project. See you later.